2016 marks 150 years since the birth of the town of Grenfell in the central west of New South Wales. The town has been celebrating all year. The theme for this year was come home to Grenfell for the 12 month period so that former residents of Grenfell could come home to Grenfell and remember what a great town Grenfell is. The celebrations were launched on Australia Day and have featured church services, the launch of two books, picnic races, two different columns, a golden oldies rugby game, the meet and greet weekend, and the highlight of the year, the October long weekend celebrations focused on Taylor Park. The new Visitor Information Centre, co-located with the Art Gallery, has become the hub for the long weekend's celebrations. The celebrations were organised by a local committee which was formed approximately two years ago and has been working hard ever since. While this celebration has the town looking back over the last 150 years, it's also a terrific opportunity to take stock and look forward to where the community wants Grenfell and the Weddon Shire to be in the next 150 years. Over the years, Grenfell has produced many high achievers, including cricketer Stan McCabe, cyclist Reggie McNamara and tennis player Jan Lehane. The high achievers, of which there are many, will be recognised in a special Hall of Fame at the Grenfell Bowling Club. But it's not only in the sporting world that Grenfell residents have excelled. There are many high achieving students who graduated from the Henry Lawson High School. These include Andrea Griffiths, who went on to become the first woman to be the Usher of the Black Rod in the Australian Federal Parliament. Yeah.